Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we are back once again with our monthly sponsored video from Plex. And this month, we're going to look at backing up your library. I just set up a little Plex server here, and I've organized some media. I have some playlists put together with some smart playlists as well. And I don't want to lose any of this work that I've done putting my stuff together. And one of the more difficult things with Plex is where it stores its data because it doesn't put all of the organizational data on your media drives. It stores them away uh, on your NAS or on your computer. And I thought what I would do in this video is step through a few different platforms to show you where this data is stored, how you can back it up, and how you can restore it later should you have a crash. One thing we're not going to cover in this video is moving between platforms. It's one thing to back up a Windows PC and restore it on another Windows PC, but it can get a little more complicated going from Windows to Linux, for example, and that's a topic we'll reserve for a future video. In this one, we're strictly going to be looking at making sure you know where your Plex metadata is and how to back it up so you don't lose all of the work you've put in organizing yourself. So let's get into it now. And before we do, I just want to remind you that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, nobody is reviewing or approving this video before it is uploaded, and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Now, before you begin your backup, I do recommend taking a look at two support articles on the Plex support site. Uh, the first is this guide for backing up your Plex media server data. It's actually not hard to do this, but there are a few gotchas depending on the platform that you're running with and you'll get some good advice here as to what you need to be looking for. And we'll step through some of those gotchas as we're working our way through. And then there's also a link on this article to another one, which is where the Plex Media Server data directory is located across various platforms. And this will be really useful because uh, we're not going to be able to step through every variant of Linux and every variant of NAS devices that are out there. And they've done a pretty nice job of compiling uh, all the different storage locations that you need to look for depending on the platform. And it can get pretty complicated too because uh, if you install Ubuntu, for example, there's a couple of different ways you can install the Plex Media Server. And depending on how you installed it will determine where that database is located. So uh, the guide here, I think, will be pretty helpful in tracking down uh, the location of that directory. And one thing to note on the NVIDIA Shield, uh, if you do install it by default onto the Shield, uh, you won't be able to get at the data directory initially unless you move it. And we did do a video recently on setting up the NVIDIA Shield and moving that data directory over. So I definitely suggest you check that one out if you are using the Shield. You need to move it off the internal storage to be able to get at it. Now, what I thought we would do first is uh, go over to my Windows machine here because I think probably a, a majority of the audience is probably running with Windows. And we're going to back up our Windows metadata directory here. Uh, now, remember, we have a nice little Plex server put together here with some playlists, and we've got a few movies here. I changed the uh, Star Wars poster to a different one. I'm a little bit of a way into the movie here, too, so I want to you know, kind of just save all this data that I've been accumulating on this server, because if we were to lose that metadata, all of that work would be gone, and we don't want that. So the first thing we're going to do is shut down our Plex media server, and you're going to do that in Windows here by going into the taskbar, and then right-clicking on uh, the icon and clicking Exit, and that will shut the server down. And the reason why we need to shut the server down is because we don't want the server writing to the database as we are backing it up. That will certainly create a problem. So now that the server is shut down, that database is kind of locked in and it won't get any more data written to it. Now I have an external drive connected to my Windows computer where I'm going to back up that uh, Plex data too. And one of the things I'm going to jump over to here is that support article on the location of the server directory. And for Windows, if we just copy and paste uh, what's on the page here into our search bar, it's going to take us right there, which is great. Uh, so when I do that here, you can see it brings us right to that Plex Media Server folder. And I'm just going to go up one level here by clicking on Local. And I'm just going to take that Plex Media Server here and just drag it over uh, to my movie drive, which is just the external hard drive that I have attached. And this will take a while because if you've got a big library, uh, this file is likely going to be in the gigabytes. This stores your database, but also all of the thumbnails and the little songs that play when you're browsing around your Plex library. These things can get pretty big. So we're going to let that finish copying here, and then I'll show you uh, one other step we need to do on Windows. 
Okay, so the files have finished copying. I just want to double check to make sure that they all made it to that external drive. So I'm going to right click on Plex Media Server here on the external drive and click Properties. And then I'm going to go over to the folder on my computer and also click on Properties just to make sure that the size here matches. And you can see here the size is 76.3 megabytes. We've got the same number of bytes there, also the same number of files. So I think we are fine here. We've got a full backup. And I could zip this and try to make it smaller too if I wanted to. And you can see just how large a small library is on this database. So yours is likely going to be a lot larger than that. Now on Windows, we have to do one other thing which is go into the registry and pull out one little uh, item out of there. So let me show you how to get to that now. So we're going to jump back to the support article about backing up the Plex Media Server data. And if we scroll down here a little bit, you will see a section for Windows and a registry entry. Uh, this is where your Plex server identifies itself and attaches to your Plex account. Uh, if you didn't back this up, not a big deal. You're just going to have to set up the server and kind of connect it to your account, and then you could bring your metadata back over. But this really allows you to keep the same server identity, basically, if you ever did need to restore uh, your system or move it to a different computer. Uh, so they've got some instructions here as to where to find that registry key. And what I'm going to do is go down here to the search bar and type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, reg edit. And this will pull up a message here from Microsoft to make sure that we are uh, doing what we want to do. And I'm going to click yes here. And what we're going to do is just take a look at what they have on the support document here and browse our way to it. So we're going to open up H key current user. We're going to go over to software. And then we're going to look for Plex Incorporated. And what I'm going to do is just click on Plex Incorporated here and go over to file and export. And I'm just going to drop this registry key onto my external drive. And we're going to call this backup registry. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to click Save. And this will save that data on the external drive. So now uh, this Windows computer is fully backed up. Now what I'm going to do next is simulate a crash and basically having to start again from scratch and then we're going to restore the data and see what happens. Okay, so our Windows computer has simulated a crash and we're starting back from scratch here. Uh, so we did reinstall the Plex Media Server software just to get that going, but we're going to close it right now just like we did before so that we can start fixing some of the files there. So I'm just going to click on exit here to shut down the server. And as you can see here, we've got my external drive loaded up with the Plex Media Server metadata directory along with that uh, registry backup that we did earlier. And in many ways, this is kind of repeating what we just did in reverse. So I'm going to go back over to the web page support article here that tells us where the media uh, metadata is located. I'm going to once again select that Windows option there and paste it into my search bar. And that's going to bring us back to where we were before. And all I'm going to do here is just go up one level just like we did earlier. And I'm just going to wipe out the Plex Media Server folder that's on the computer currently because we're going to copy over the one we were using before. So I'm just going to click Delete here. Uh, that will get rid of that. And now what I'm going to do is just grab the folder that we backed up earlier and drag it off my external drive back to that location. That'll just take a few seconds here in this case to copy, but in your circumstances with a larger database, it of course will take a little bit longer. Uh, we're going to let that copy over and we should be done there. And now we're going to restore the registry entry. And after that, we should be back up where we were before. So let's go back to the registry editor. Remember it's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. We're going to hit enter and say yes once again. And now what we'll do is go to file and import. And what we'll do now is just navigate to our movie drive here. And there's that registry backup we made. I'm going to click on open. And what'll happen here is it will uh, overwrite what was installed when we reinstalled the Plex server. And now we should be good to go. So let's go over to the start menu here and reboot our Plex media server. 
and hopefully all of that media and all the metadata will be back where we left it. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm back in here now, and as you can see, the Star Wars poster looks to be the same one I had put in before. It has my bookmark here in the movie where I last left off, so that's good. It looks like that restored properly. I've got my smart playlist here. Everything seems to be exactly where it was left, which is exactly what we want to do. So as you can see here uh, on this Windows machine, we've been able to successfully back up and then restore a Plex database after a crash. And unfortunately, they don't offer a one-click solution for this. You have to do these steps, and these steps, again, are going to vary on different platforms. But now that you know the concepts, let's take a look at where you can find this metadata on other platforms so you can back it up in your particular situation. All right, on the Mac, it's pretty simple. We're going to go back to that support article where it tells you where all the data directories are located. We're going to look for Mac OS. We're going to select what they've got here on screen. We're going to click on the Finder in the dock. And then there's a menu option here in the Finder called Go. And we're going to go to Folder. And I'm just going to paste in uh, what we grabbed from that support page, and that's going to drop us off right inside the Plex Media Server folder. But it might be easier uh, to go up a level. Let me show you how to do that. Hold down the Command key here, and then click on the Plex Media Server title in the window. And as you can see here, we can jump up one level to Application Support. So I'm going to click on that, and if we jump over here now, uh, you'll see that Plex Media Server folder, and that's what we're going to want to copy. So I can just grab that and bring it right over to my external drive to back things up. Now, like the Windows scenario, we do have one more piece of data to back up for our server identification. Let me show you where that file is. So just jump back to that Backing Up Plex Media Server Data Support page and scroll down to OS 10. And you'll see this is a different directory we have to go to now, the Library Preferences directory. Again, we're going to go back to the Finder. We're going to click on Go and then go to Folder. And we're going to paste in Library Preferences. And what you need to look for here is the file called ComplexApp Plex Media Server plist. Again, they don't make this easy, and it's important to know where all this stuff is, which is why we're doing this video today. And this is the file here that we would then uh, just copy over to our external drive to back up. Now, just make sure that your Plex server is shut down before backing up. That's the rule that will apply across all platforms. And the restoration process here on the Mac is the same as it is on Windows. Just copy those files back into those directory locations, and your server will be back up and running. Let's take a look at Linux now. Now, Linux is a little more difficult to demonstrate because there are many, many different Linux distributions. And within a particular distribution, there might be a multitude of ways you can install Plex. And based on what you're running and how you're installing Plex will determine where the metadata is located. So what I did here with Ubuntu 19.10 uh, was installed Plex through their software store here that's on the taskbar, kind of replicating the simplest way to get it going. And what that means is that your uh, Plex server will be installed through Snap, and Snap will store your metadata for Plex in a different location, perhaps, than if you installed Plex from the command line, for example. So if we uh, follow my mouse here, I'll show you where that metadata is located. Uh, so we hit the var folder there. We're going to go over to Snap. And then inside of Snap is a folder for the Plex Media Server, and this is what you want to back up. But you do need to stop that uh, server first, and you do that, at least in this particular scenario, by typing sudo snap stop Plex Media Server, and that will stop it. And then, of course, you can back up, and then to start it back up again, you just issue a start command and that will start it back up. But there's nothing you can click on within the Ubuntu interface here to start and stop the server. So you're going to need to go to the command line to do that. The good news, though, for uh, Plex on Linux machines is that the extra settings are stored within your Plex media server folder. Uh, so this preferences XML file 
is the registry entry, for example, that we were messing around with on Windows. So the restoration on Linux is actually a little bit easier, uh, but getting the uh, server data located might be a little bit harder depending on your particular installation. So remember, on Linux, it might look very different than what I just showed you depending on the distribution you have and how you installed Plex. The command line to start and stop the server will be different and the files will be in different locations. So what I would do first is check out the uh, support article here again, uh, look for your distribution. If it works, great, you'll be able to back up pretty quickly. But if you have trouble, uh, I would then go over to the Plex forums and do some searching there because undoubtedly somebody will have your same configuration and you should be able to get started by uh, browsing around on there. So Linux has a lot of different possibilities and unfortunately we can't show you all of them. Uh, another area with a lot of possibilities are NAS devices. Uh, what you're looking at now is my Synology NAS. Uh, it will actually create a shared folder on the NAS for you just for the Plex data. It will do that automatically when you install the Plex app. And that's real easy because you've got everything right here in a very easy to find place. You can copy that stuff off to a computer or to a, an external drive or something. Again, very easy to find. But of course, you want to make sure you shut down the server first. And you can do that by hopping into the package center uh, going to your installed section, clicking on the Plex Media Server and going to Stop. Uh, that will shut the server down. You can then back up the metadata and be on your way and then just start it back up again when you're ready to boot it back up. Uh, what you could also do is incorporate it into your Hyper Backup if you run it every night like I do and maybe shut down the Plex server before you go to bed. Uh, when Hyper Backup runs, it'll pick up that metadata directory and then when you wake up, you can start the server again and you've got yourself a backup that way too. So pretty easy on Synology. But not every NAS device is as easy as this. Uh, so for example, we did a whole 12 or 13 minute video on the WD MyCloud and how difficult it is to back that up uh, because they keep their data kind of out of reach of the user. You have to log in through the back door to get at it. Other NAS platforms might be easier or harder depending on which one it is. And once again, this support article about the location of these directories will be your friend. Uh, they have most of the major NAS platforms listed here. So have at it and take a look. And I did this video primarily because I want you all to be thinking about your metadata as much as your media collection. I know that you probably have your media collection backed up three or four times, but what about your metadata? Have you really thought about backing that up on a regular basis? Because I'd hate for all of you to lose the time and effort that you put in to organize it. So get in there and back it up. It's really important to not lose that time investment. I hope that at some point in the future, Plex makes this a little bit easier. I would love a one-click backup option that works the same across all platforms to simplify this. But until then, uh, you've got to dig into this and back it up yourself to make sure everything is good. Now, if you are doing like a system-wide backup every night, it'll pick it up as part of that. Uh, but this is something just to keep in the back of your mind for folks on other platforms or for people that aren't doing one of those system-wide backups. This is how you can go about backing up your system. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. If you have trouble, uh, head over to the Plex forums because you could probably find a lot of folks who are in the same boat as you and maybe have already solved the problems that you're trying to solve and it can be a really good resource for you there too. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Rajesh, Logic GR, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.